key, we have some shortcut keys for navigation through our worksheet. So whenever we come to a work or whenever we come to a space wherein we want to have a shortcut navigation through a worksheet, so that can easily be done. So there are some shortcuts. Obviously, when we work with Excel, we used to have a shortcut in place and we should have the shortcuts in place as well. The reason behind it, shortcuts help you to reach your goal very easily and in a very easy manner. So that's why shortcuts are very much important in any which form. So how can you provide a shortcut? So there are a lot of shortcuts that are available in your data set and you can have them all available in the data set in many forms as well. So what are the shortcuts? Let's look for it. Some shortcuts are like these. For example, the up, down arrow, if you see over here, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, uh, left arrow. So they basically helps you to move your active cell up and down, left and right, and all of these stuff. So for all of these purpose, we use this left, down, up and right arrow key for that purpose only. Okay. Now next we have is your uh, nothing but right one, left one, or control home. So if you press on control home, so control home is nothing, but it will help you to control your screens or it will move your active cell to A1. So for example, let's say I'm right now here. And if I press control home, I'll be assigned to cell A1 as soon as I press uh, control home. Control end. I'll move to the end of that sheet. Like this. Way. Enter. I'll move to the active cell. If I enter, I'll move to the next cell. F5. If I press F5, it opens a dialog box for me, which is I can go to some sheets or something of that sort. Now, if I press home, so I move to the home. So if I press home also, it moves to uh, like home, it moves to a current cell of that room. If I press page up or page down, so there is page up, home like this. You have page up, page down. So page down moves you the next sheet, page up moves you the previous sheet. Like this way, we actually move. Tab, shift plus tab. So there, there is tab. There is tab to move this and if you press tab shift, it will stay as this. So tab shift plus tab moves your active cell to the right or left one. So tab is like this and tab shift is like this to the active cell. So that's how it basically works. Okay. So these are the shortcut keys that are there in the Excel. And for that, you work along also. So these are the different type of shortcut keys that are available. And for that, we work. And these shortcut keys are pretty important because you should know them. Now, why you should know them? The reason behind of you knowing these shortcuts is because these shortcuts will help you to reach to your specific goals or the specific strings or any of them. That's why. So basically, for that reason, you should always know them and you should always work with them in a specific way so that you can easily achieve your goals. Like these shortcuts will probably help you with whatever you want to. For example, if you Alt plus Enter key is a combination to enter a text on multiple lines within a same cell. For example, let's say if I want to enter a text over here. I'll just click on the cell and if I press Alt Enter, I'll get to enter some other details in the cell itself. So that is a combination to enter text on multiple lines within the same cell. Okay. So in our Excel sheet, which is a data tab. Now data tab is basically where you can import the data from any external sources but not limited to a text file. So basically there is no limitations of providing you with a text, uh, only with a text file that you can only access with a text file, but it is limited that you can not only access a text file, 
You can also use a Microsoft Access database. You can use a web pages. You can use an XML document. You can use any Microsoft query. You can use any SQL Server database. Whatever you require, you can download it or move it that way. Now, if I see on Excel, the data tab, if you go to this, see, you can access it from an access, you can access it from a web page, uh, you can access it from a text, you can access it from any other sources. So from all of that pages, you can do it. So in any which way, this is very much helpful and this is very much needed also. So from wherever you want to access your data or you want to see your data or something of that sort. So you can basically do that. Okay. Any which ways you want to fill for the data set, fill for access from access, maybe any web page location. Maybe you want to access a text file in it. You want to access it from any other data sources. In the, any other data sources means like from any different data sources like like from your SQL server or any of the connections or anything, then in that case, we use this uh, uh, for the any other data sources option. Then if you have any existing connection, so you can see for any existing connection, accordingly, you can do that. Now, refresh all is basically whenever you want to refresh your uh, connections and you want to work accordingly. So that is called as refresh all. Mm, okay. So wherein we can refresh the connection. So if you have any which ways uh, made a connection through uh, your uh, this any of the access database or any of the thing uh, or any of the other services or any of the databases or anything, then in that case, it is pretty uh, simple that you can just refresh that data set and you can easily work with it. So that is called as a refreshing of those connections. Just click on refresh. And you have an option to refresh all or maybe just simple refreshing the data. Okay. Now, the next is our review tab. So, let's see that. Let me move this down. A review tab basically is a tab that will let you proofread your Excel workbook. So, whatever the proofing, for example, if you want to have any Excel spelling check in the data, if you want to add anything, if you want to delete any comments, if you want to protect your data, if you want to unprotect your Excel sheets or any workbooks, and finally, allow the user to track the changes in multi-user Excel workbook. So, in that case, you can use a review tab for that purpose. Okay? So, that's the review tab. Basically, this review tab comes on over here, wherein you have all these options and you can check for all these options as well. Wherein you can review whatever you want and you can review the data in whatever way. Whatever spell check, any comments, anything you want to mention for, you can simply mention that and it will show you up in that data set or it will work for you in that data set along. Okay, so that is called as the review section where you can have autocorrects, protecting of the sheet, protecting of the workbook, share your workbook. So whatever ways you want to have it, you can simply have that way. Now, there are some shortcut keys that are there. So there's a full list of Excel shortcut keys that are there for which you can use, which comes as a basic of an Excel, okay? A full list of the shortcut keys that comes as a part of Excel. And it's pretty important as well to use for. So these basic shortcut keys have a full list. Uh, sorry. Have a full list that we have. So some of the favorites are there uh, and some of the lists are there. For example, if you want to insert a new line within a cell, so you can use uh, Alt Enter. If you want to enable editing anything of that sort, you can click on F2. If you want to add a comment to a cell, you can click on shift plus F2. If you want to open a print preview, then it will be control plus F2. If you want to fill the data down, okay, so then it will be control R. If you want to create a name, so let's try them up, how they work. Let's see them up in Excel, okay? Let me open a new sheet for you guys. And... Let me take probably this much data as a sort of 
for analysis or for a reference purpose, basically. Now, I said the first thing is insert a new line within a cell. So let's say here when I'm entering something, I want to enter a new line within a cell. So how can I do that? Alt plus enter. And I can enter a new value as B2. Like this. So you will have dual values. Then we have enable editing with a cell, which is if you want to enable editing, I can click on F2 and it will help me to enable click it and make it as there. Add a comment to a cell. If you want to add a comment to any cell, so it is shift and F2. So see, you can add a comment. So if you now have, uh, you can add a comment from here. Open print preview. That will be control plus F2. So see, the print preview has opened. Now you can print your data. Fill data down or to the right through selected cells. So if I want to print this data down, let's say, uh, let, uh, let's say I want to print this data down. So I can just say shift and control D and it will paste it like this. And if I want to move it to the right side, I say shift and control R, paste it to the right. You want to create a name. So then in that case, you will use control S like this way. So that's a name manager. So now name manager is a very good concept. One thing of that sort. Name manager is something which helps you to create a name for a particular table. Let's suppose I want to create a name for this table, this pivot table. I want to create a name for this pivot table. So I can create a name. How? I can press either control plus F3 or I can go to the data also, uh, to the formulas also. Here also I'll find the name manager. Now in the section of new, I'll give it a name. Uh, the pivot data table. And I will select the sheet, select this, and I'm going to select the range of the data for which I'm going to create it. And I'll click on OK. OK, so there is space. That's why it gave me an error. It's my bad. OK, let's say data table. So there's a name manager created. Now, how this name manager can be helpful? That's also a very good question, that how this name manager can be helpful. So let's suppose with this name manager, uh, I want to, let's say, uh, get some data or anything. Let's say for this manager, like I have this data set, I want to get this values basically so here what i want to do is that i want to get these values okay uh let me just delete this comment and make it to normal now for let's say example for this uh for this mickey i want to bring its area okay by using a vlookup so uh, this area numbers. How I can do that? Generally, if you are doing a VLOOKUP, you will have the lookup value. You will have the table array. So in case of table array, generally, if your name manager was not created, how you're going to do is that you would have taken this complete table array, freeze that range, and then you have set code. Oh, there are multiple meetings. No issues. Um, so you would have freeze the pain like that, or maybe let's have a VLOOK up on this. Okay. So you would have freeze the pain and you would have worked for this. Like you would have got this value over here as a pasting identification, right? But 
that because you have a name manager available. So what you can do instead of using that pivot, like instead of using this value or maybe this, uh, like generally in this value, maybe by using this lookup table or using the, uh, using basically your this table array, what you can give, you can just give the name manager table and you can say column four, then you can say false and it will give you the data set accordingly. Now, what's the help of this basically? The help of this would be that whenever, uh, if any of the new data is entered over here, so you don't have to manually go and change your range of that particular Excel file. So that way, name manager will help you doing that. That is also a pretty good reason to use it. Okay, so that's why we use a name manager in that case. So name manager is pretty helpful. Now, the next shortcut that we see over here is insert the current data type. So it is control plus data then. So it's control plus data then. And will get it or lesson or something of that sort. Toggle to display of the formulas. So toggle to display of the formulas is control plus is colon. You want to select a column, control plus space. So control plus space is select a column. Basically, if you want to delete a row, it's control plus minus. So if let's say I want to delete any row, it's control minus. So it will ask you, do you want to shift the cells, whatever places, you can shift it. Insert a row, control plus shift. So it's control plus shift. Let's say here. Control shift. Oh, sorry. Control shift plus. And it will help you to insert it. You want to shift the cell down or per, so it shifted the cell accordingly. Like this way, you can have some shortcuts available in your data 